KUTV app. This is KUTV 2 News at 5. Based on video evidence, physical evidence, witness statements, and interviews with family members, detectives believe that this was a tragic incident of murder-suicide. Weber County investigators say the West Haven shooting deaths of a mom and her three young children was a murder-suicide. And now the family of the mother, Maribel Ibarra, says it knew nothing about her mental health. It is our top story tonight on 2 News at 5. I'm Mark Cavell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Glad you're with us tonight. We do have team coverage in West Haven. Ariel Harrison is getting reaction from the community on today's news conference. We do want to start, though, with Brian Malayhu, who has the very latest information on this investigation. Brian. Yeah, we're outside the building where the announcement was made today that this was murder-suicide. The brother of Maribel Ibarra told me he could not even foresee the possibility that she could take the lives of her own children and then herself. But investigators say that's what happened. But we can confidently say there's no one else suspected in the death of these four individuals. The most definitive statement since Maribel Ibarra and the bodies of her three kids were found in a car in the family driveway Tuesday night. And did the shootings happen, all the shootings happen inside that car? Yes. But investigators today were still not answering all questions. You said that the evidence points to this being a murder-suicide. What evidence? Physical evidence from the back uh, rear of the vehicle. Can, and I'm can not going to go more into specific? detail on that. So can, you, uh, can you be more specific, please? I'm not going to be more specific on that. Ibarra family members were here, asked not to be shown, calling the three children four, two, and one, and Maribel, quote, the light of our lives. As a family, we unfortunately knew nothing about her mental health, the Ibarras wrote. We always saw her as a loving mother, which makes this so shocking for us, adding their pain is beyond words. Investigators added later that there was gunpowder residue inside that car. They also say that Maribel Ibarra's boyfriend, who is married to another woman, was the father of those three children. That person, the boyfriend, was here at the news conference today. The Ibarras say that they trust God and say the love of the community will also help keep them strong. Live in Weber County, Brian Malahi, KUTV2 News.